hey guys welcome back to another video you may be wondering where where are we gone but we're still here we're still i'm um, going through trying to complete the cabins and and so on so we just wanted to give you another update on where we are so far with the cabin also give you like well sort of a story <laughs> um that issue with a bad vendor and that has caused us a whole heap of delays right now um so we're still trying to to figure that one out but let me give you another update as to where we are with this project so the last video we did um we were working on the office building um we have progressed that somewhat we are on the final rendering we have rendered all of the inside we have some small areas left in the laundry and that's because the plumber needs to come and do his work for the washing machine and so on which i'm um, hopefully will be doing this weekend for the outside we are now working on the outside we have a few areas on the front it's a little patch on the front that needs um finishing and the back side needs finishing and then we're doing the, the veranda and all of that so we should be finishing up the, the rendering within the next week and then the electrician's plumber will work and put the, the conduits and so on in the floor well they have started already it's just more to connect everything and and put in everything and then we'll be casting the floors and then only windows doors and cupboards and so on would need to go in as it relates to the cabins we have done a lot of work so we have gone through the entire outside and like fill out the holes um cock out the holes um install the strips around the windows we're about at that point now where we're going to put on another coat of paint before the final coat of paint but i, I kind of want to leave that for now the painting because i don't want to paint and then it mess up and then you end up have to do two more coat of paint so then it would do like just one more coat of paint so waiting and some more works to complete um to do the exterior painting now on the inside we have started putting in the roughings for the electrics and the plumbing once we are done with the electrics and the plumbing roughing it will be time to start doing drywall work now this is where um, I have my issue and we have had a, a bad situation with a vendor um, who has cost us a lot of delays and is even costing us additional money right now so it's the vendor we chose to go with to do our windows so at first this was from like october 2nd or there about just the beginning of october we agreed a price to do all of the windows and he the vendor um, wanted 50% deposit to commence the work <coughs> I said we can do the 50% but give me a few days um, let's put the money together and then I'll, I'll start the work really and truly I'm a person like this if I don't have the money I'm not putting you on work so I'm not going to tell you to start working without knowing that I have the money to pay you. But this guy, and this is red flag number one, this guy came, kept, kept calling me. This guy kept calling me over and over again to ask him when am I going to give him the deposit, when am I going to give him the deposit. I was telling him, no, um, wait, let me put it together. Come up to the 2nd of October now, the guy called me and said that if I could even give him half of the deposit, that's 50% of the deposit, um, he will put the next half out of his money and he needs to purchase some materials 
um, to start the window. He was saying to me that a supplier that he uses just got materials and he doesn't want to lose those materials. So if I could give him half of the deposit, he'll put another half on it and go get the materials to start the project. I said, well, I mean, I'm going to go with this guy anyway to do the work. Um, he was saying that he wanted two weeks to do the entire job. I was like, okay, not bad. But, you know, I usually just leave leaving there some extra time because things get way out of hand sometimes. So I paid him the 50% of the deposit on the 2nd of October. Um, by the 19th of October, I gave him the other half of the deposit. So I was saying, no, all right, now we have full deposit. I'm expecting to see my job complete within two weeks. Now this would have been the second of October would be week one, the week to the 19th would be week two. So in all, it would be four weeks from the very first date that I would have paid you the money. So I called him. I was like, what's happening? It's been four weeks um, since you should have started working. What's happening? He was like, yeah, man, um, start work. You can come by my shop and, and I'll show you the, the materials and all of that and all of that and all of that. But um, I really never pressured it at the time because I wasn't quite ready for the windows at, um, at that point. So I gave it another week or two, went by the shop and he showed me some material and said, okay, this is for my project. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. Anyways, Couple of weeks pass, now we are in November. No show up. So I was like, mm, what's happening here? So I call him, he's like, yes, um, you need a couple more days, but by next week you will you will be coming with my stuff. Anyways, December come, I can't see him turn up. After the holidays. I believe. I call him. I was like, what's happening? Yeah, he's coming with my team. I said, well, stop coming and come. We need to see something happening. No, it's been since October. You said two weeks to do the job. No, him come and him put in some window frame and then he missing again. So I was like, no man, something really wrong. So I'm a call back the man. So what go on? You know? He said, yeah man, he might come with my things and him have them make up already and if I want, I can come by the shop. Come see them. So me go by the shop and me see some of the windows make up. So I assume say, maybe him, you know, he might work. Um, weeks pass till I forget mad. I say, no, what's happening again? And this time, we tell him, say, listen, if you can't bring me in and them come by X time, don't come with them. So, by X time, him send some other man, which I don't even know them, come install these windows, which I have an issue with them because the quality is poor. One. And it's just, it's not, I don't like them. But I, I'll have to work with them, but I don't like them. Anyways, when him come, I said, so warm to the rest of the windows. You say you complete, him need another week. And then he might wrap up everything. One more week pass. And this just kept going on until about, we're in what now, March? Until about late February. So this man have my money, my deposit from October and February, I can't see nothing. So it, it reached the point where I have to just tell him, say, listen man, if you can't come with my windows, don't bring them. As a matter of fact, he stopped answering the phone because he couldn't tell me no more excuse. And I go down to him shop, and I reach down to him shop, I say, whole heap of people sit down on there, I say, man, other man at work and thing. So I said to them, say, yo, where the man there? 
the, the guys down in the shop said all of these people here is waiting on him as well. I was like, okay. Well, tell him I passed through. And call him after that. Didn't get him, so I left a message and him voice note. So we're gonna deal with that afterwards. But we can't wait on that right now. Because of the window situation, um I can't drywall the place. I can't start drywalling the place because you know, rain or fall and, and all of that, the place inside I'll get wet up and dry will get wet up. So I'm at a standstill because these windows can't get installed. So that's where we are with the windows, the window story, the issue why we can't move on to the do the interior works. So I've gotten another company to do the windows. In the next couple of days, the guy is going to come major and hopefully we can get all the window situation sorted out within the next two weeks with that said that's where we are with the inside we have started the as i said the, the electrical roughing but outside now we are pushing with with external works so we have a step down right before the pool so we're putting in that wall um right there and then we have the pool deck and the swimming pool to complete but that's going to be one of the very last last project we do up here the swimming pool <coughs> so the day we plaster the swimming pool the next day we put in water in the swimming pool so you know we're done at that time so <coughs> what we have done with the swimming pool now is pretty much make the coping tiles i was checking around to get some coping tiles but the ones i've seen was too expensive and <coughs> i couldn't get them so we resort to making our own coping tiles so we have made our coping tiles which we will install um, around the pool when the time comes so putting in the low walls putting in the the paved areas and so on completing the office building we have the stanchion to complete and we're just kind of tidying up the outside and then what we have done is i've dropped some more load of topsoil i have to put it now because when we start doing the gate because we have to, to close up the gate when we start doing that the big truck won't be able to come in to the property again to drop the topsoil so I have to drop the top side now and then we'll be start once we put in the lower walls we'll start moving the top side around and start doing our landscaping and so on so quite a lot of work has has happened even though things still look kind of like the same but things are happening in the background again the windows is one of the big things once we get those windows in we can start drywall work on the inside, tiling work on the inside. We have our entrance doors already. Those have been made for a couple months you now and just waiting for us to pick them up. So once we're done with the drywall work, we're done with the tiling work, then we can put in the doors, start bringing in fixtures. That's where we are now. So I hope you enjoy this video, this short update. Um, just giving you an idea where we are. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe comment and all those nice things and until next time keep the dream alive bye